Hello everybody and welcome to day 18 of 25 days of Christmas filled with games. This is also one of the last game plan reviews of 2020. There's only a few more times that I am doing game plan review for 2020 and that'll be it. This is the third to last game plan review that I'm doing for this year sadly but I will be doing game plan review next year in 2021 now this of course is a game that I played for the Super Nintendo last year for film and stuff month but now I'm gonna play the Sega Genesis version to see if that is better and the game I'm talking about is cliffhanger now of course I gave a red card to cliffhanger for the Super Nintendo the question is, will I give a red card to the Sega Genesis version? The only way I'm going to find out is if I actually play it. So without further ado, I'm going to play Cliffhanger. And by the way, if you are new to game plan review, I do my reviews on a card basis. Green means I recommend the game. Yellow means it's kind of like a rental. And red card means I don't recommend the game. That just depends on the card that I give the game. The only way I'm going to find out, of course, is if I actually play. So without further ado, like I said, I'm going to get started with Cliffhanger. Okay, everybody. It is time to play Cliffhanger. Alright, let's do it. Well, I tried to play this on, because I hacked my uh, Sega Genesis Classic. And unfortunately, it wouldn't play, so I'm trying this. Obviously, I don't need to read that. Alright, here we go. Wait a minute, you lose health? I remember hating this game by playing the uh, Sega Genesis time. Mm -hmm. 
Typical Sega Genesis music, I'll tell you that. They can shoot you, but you can't kill them. You son of a bitch. I knew that was gonna happen. I hate this. I remember this part and I hate it. Well, I got up there. At least the controls are not too bad. Still. Oh, not this. Son of a bitch. This, this is the part I always hated. I remember this. I remember this. Fucking A. I'm done. I'm really done. I'm going to use up all my lives and continues. You son of a bitch. Oh, it does have a continue. Holy cow. How many continues? That's the question. I, I think with the Super Nintendo, I had, uh, I had, uh, you have to go back, unfortunately. The Super Nintendo one, when I played with seven lives, didn't give me any continues. I think that's what I remember. So that's a step up. You get continues with... Thank God for that. Sega Genesis version gives you continues. When you do the highest, uh, highest lives count. Where the Super Nintendo one didn't. So I will say this. That's a step up. That's a step up from the Super Nintendo version. Shit. This 
game still So far this game still sucks. How many platoons I get? Because I've played with seven lot. I played with seven lives in the Super Nintendo version. They give me any continues. You bastard. Fuck you. See, I'm hitting them with nothing. Here it comes again. This is where I lose all my lives. I'm gonna try. Dang, have it. Son of a bitch. Not again, you f Ugh. son of a. No, no, no! Oh, come on! Come on! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh, so I only get one continue. Oh, that's bull. I was losing anyway. So, it's a step up, but you only get one continue. One! <sighs> I, I'm gonna say this. One continues not enough. Well, I'm gonna try with five lives. We'll try with five lives, see how much continues I get, because it seems like it has the same crap as, you guessed it, the Super Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version didn't give you any continues when, but still, it's ridiculous. Seems like the less the less lives you have, the more continues you, you get. That's what I really hated about the Super Nintendo version. That's why I never got past the first level. I don't mind this part when it comes to, but when it comes to the avalanche, however, that's the worst part of the level. positive aspects to this game, but still. The 
it was just this, I'd be happy. But no, they have to have uh, stupid avalanches. Game does not improve comes the hard part. This sucker. The avalanche. This is what kills the game for me. By the fact that it doesn't have continues. Fucking A. I'd rather watch the movie. Even though I've never really seen the movie. Son of a bitch! Oh, so you, if you don't move, you die. Fucking A. You son of a bitch! I hate this part! Fuck! Sorry about the language, guys, but I'm getting sick and tired of this game. Come on! I have to go all the way back to the beginning. I hate that! And I hate that cliffhanging part! I wouldn't be dying so much if it wasn't for that cliffhanging part. And having to battle that avalanche. That's what kills the game for me. When I played the Super Nintendo version, that killed the game for me. Less fun, less enjoyable. See, this part's fine. The rest of it, however, is where it falters. That avalanche. See, this I don't mind. If it was just this and nothing else. You jerk! You took that out.
so I won't get an entire refill. Thanks a lot for those stupid jerks. This was a mistake. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you. Sorry about the language, guys, but here comes the avalanche part. One that kills the game. Makes it less fun, less enjoyable. You don't get past it. You don't go to the next level. You're fucked. I went the wrong way. You have to have good timing. You have to have good judgment. Otherwise, you're fucked. Not again! This game sucks! So it does give me another continue. The less lives you take, the more, uh, the more continues you get. But still, that avalanche part just kills the game for me, no matter what version. As a result, I'm... What I put for let... well... Never mind. It might go on my bottom 10 this year, but this time for the you know, Sega Genesis version. I just haven't decided yet. Trolls are fine. Just this, this I don't mind. This is the only positive I can give the game. Beating up bad guys and stuff, it's fine. What kills the game for me is the other, the other, other problems, including having limited continues and having less continues. The more lives you pick. Same problem as the Super Nintendo version, except the Super Nintendo version was much worse. You put seven lives, you got no continues. But still, it's bad. Fuck you. Wasted that all because I died before I got even got there. Dang, Nab, I can go fast, but guess what? You loaf. So if I go, see if I go faster. It'll drop me down if I go slow. Here it comes. I only got one life to do it. I'm gonna stop here after I'm done. See, I forgot to jump right there. Forgot to jump. Oh, I got one more. Thank God. Still, this part of the game sucks. 
you have to jump and you gotta avoid an avalanche. That's what kills the game for me. They made it much more challenging. I'm done. I've had enough. <sighs> oh, I am done. Sega Genesis version also gets a red card from me. It has the same problems. And uh, the thing about it is, if you don't get through that avalanche, you pretty much can't go to the next level. They made a part of the level where uh, you have to beat it in order to get to the next level. And, and if you don't, guess what? You're screwed. I've never gotten past the first level all because of that. Yeah, and there's an there's one I'll I'll give Sega Genesis the Sega Genesis version this. You at least get a continue if you play with seven lives. The only problem is you only get one continue. That's only a slight step up for, over the Super Nintendo version. Everything else about the game sucks. So, both games I don't recommend. I really don't. No matter, no matter which one you play, I don't recommend any of them. Any of them. See, unlike toys, where I played toys and found uh, one game to be better than the other, it's not the case with Cliffhanger. The Super Nintendo version of Toys was better than the Sega Genesis version. But when it comes to Cliffhanger, none of the versions are superior. None. So I recommend you stay away from both of them. That has been my review of Cliffhanger. And I thank you very much for watching Day 18 of 25 Days of Christmas Filled with Games. And I will catch you for day 19 tomorrow. And guess what? And if I can find that, I will be wearing my Santa hat tomorrow for you guys. That's because I'm playing a Christmas game. Alright everybody. I will catch you next time for another gameplay and review. Which will, of course will be tomorrow. And it will be day 19 for, for 25 days of Christmas filled with games. Peace out, stay safe and stay awesome, and happy gaming.